I know there's a number of people out there, especially the players on our team, that wish I would. But, um, I, well, I, I don't know about reinvent being the right word, but I do think that each and every year we are trying to improve the process of how we do what we do. And we spend a significant amount of time on quality control in terms of things that we need to fix or improve on and then coming up with some kind of a plan of who we can meet with, who we need to talk to, what we need to do to try to implement that plan so that we have a chance to get more knowledge and experience to do a better job in that area. Now, that's not just in football. You know, that's in academic support program. It's in personal development programs uh, for the players. It's, it's, it, it's pretty broad-based. And uh, anytime we have issues in any particular area, we obviously want to do a better job in that area. And we try to put a plan in place. So uh, I think there's a lot of changes. We're not locked into doing things the way we've always done them if there's a better way to do it. I'm sorry, I can't hear everybody at once. I'm What's the correlation between speaking and writing a book? <laughs> well, let me just say this. I, I, I never say never, but the last time I wrote a book, I wrote the book. I took it on vacation, and every day I sat there and crossed it out and wrote it myself because... I wanted it to be representative of who we were and it, and it to be a very good book. And, and right now, with all the challenges that we have in so many other areas, I don't really want to make the time commitment. So maybe one of these days, somewhere down the road, we'll certainly consider it. Well, I think it's a big game because it's a division game. It's the first one uh, SEC game, you know, of the season. Uh, it is a team that we didn't have a lot of success against last year uh, who's going to have a really, really good team with uh, an outstanding quarterback. So uh, there's a lot of challenges there for us. Um, division games are almost worth two games because you lose all the tiebreakers if you lose one. Uh, so, you know, it, it's an extremely important game. And, uh, I think that, um, you know, the focus for our team is is that, that we need to develop what the things that we can control, improve the things that we need to improve so that we're going to give ourselves the best opportunity when we have uh, these two, both the games that we have early in the season, very challenging games where we're going to be more prepared and ready to take advantage of any opportunity that we can create for ourselves. Well, well, I think when you inspire somebody, when, you'd like it. Um, I, I think when you inspire somebody, you, you get them to want to do it. You, you create a, a, a motivation within them to want to do it. When you teach somebody something, they may or may not want to do it. Uh, you're just trying to show them through some teaching progression how to do something. They may not want to do it. You know, we have guys all the time that come in when I say, hey, you missed this class, and I bring them in, and they say, coach, I really don't like that class. And I say, hey, that's a great opportunity for you to go focus on something that you don't like. It might help your focus on the field. So there's always some kind of way to, you know, sort of got to do stuff you don't like to do. You got to do stuff you don't want to do. When you inspire somebody, you get them to want to do it.